poked holes into how the Communication Authority of Kenya and the Directorate of Criminal Investigations handled cases of exam malpractice last year, even as it marked that 36 social media accounts are being probed for the vice. DCI and the CAK officials were this morning sent back to the drawing board by the National Assembly's Education Committee after they failed to, to reveal the faces behind exam leakage last year and the previous years. Here is Brenda Zedaradido with that report. Four months to the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Examinations and the Kenya Certificate of Primary Examinations, the security and integrity of the national exams were put into question. Investigations into exams are cheating by the Education National Assembly entered its final leg Tuesday morning. Director General of Communication Ezra Chiloba and Director General of DCI Amin Mohammed appeared before the Julius Meli led committee to shed more light as to how they have stopped and prosecuted faces behind exam practice. A lot more times, Mr. Chair, we act on an incident or a complaint that has been filed with us. And a lot more times, the DCI will come to see and say, we are investigating an issue of exam cheating. And these are the details. We want two things to happen from you. If it's a, an account, please help us identify the registration details around this account. Questions as to how different social media platforms have been an avenue of exam cheating dominated the better part of the session. To Machakos, a genuine paper was circulated in the social media. And they brought the attention of the examination council. The examination council brought your attention. And I'm told it took about four days for you, for you to deactivate it. Some of these cases pending. So, but also from number 10. What do you mean by pending? SEO? Pending basically means we've been unable to take them down. They've not been... The issues have not been resolved. For the last three years, Communication Authority has handled 98 cases linked to the malpractice. In 2021, the authority handled 34 cases of social media impersonation, while in 2022, 28 cases were tackled, and last year, 36 cases were reported. There are two platforms that are problematic for us. Signal and Telegram. Unlike Facebook, and Meta, oh, uh, Facebook Meta, and uh, Twitter, and uh, Google, these other platforms do not have a centralized contact point where you can actually have a human-to-human -human consultations on what is at stake and what needs to be done. Minutes later, the grilling session would go into a closed-door session. As the DCI said, some of the cases of exam practice are still in court. However, during the closed-door meeting, it emerged that the information that DCI gave the committee was not conclusive as it lacked details of culprits. Claims of cover-up also emerged during the grilling session. I think you had uh, my committee members asking them, weren't you specific on the culprits? You can't generalize and say exam, uh, uh, university students, you can't generalize and say teachers, you can't generalize and say you must be very specific. We have owners of phones, they are registered, they have phone numbers, they have names. The people who peddle this are known. The meeting between the committee, CA and DCI ended prematurely, forcing the chair of the committee to send Chiloba and DCI back to the drawing board and come up with a more detailed information on a cyber security information on cheating, especially on Telegram, Signal, WhatsApp and Facebook. They are expected to appear before the committee on Thursday before the committee retreats to write a report and tabulate on the floor of the House. Brenda Zeda Radido, KTN News. Thank you, Brenda.